There's this word now, cancel culture, isn't there? I mean, do you feel that's what happened to you, that you were cancelled? I think it's a very scary world that we're living in when things like that happen and you can't have open and honest debate about conversations that are to do with what's going on in the world. I think it's, it's a horrible world um, and it's a world that I kind of associated with North Korea and China. But before we get into the episode, make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel and turn the notification bell on. And were there times before lockdown started that there were things you wanted to speak up about but didn't? Why did you choose when you did to start speaking up on things? Um, no, I don't think there was a time before lockdowns where I, I was always quite open with, with any opinions. I was quite, um, I've always been uh, on social media, I've been willing to engage with the fans and give my opinions on things and it's never been a problem, um, you know, because we had a, a society before where you were allowed to have an opinion and if it was different to everyone else's, that was, that was fine, it was just different and you just cracked on with it. Uh, and then in uh, March 2020, the whole world seemed to change very quickly and uh, having an opinion then, uh, was something that was frowned upon if it didn't uh, coincide with the, what the government and the mainstream media were telling you. So yeah, there's this word now, cancel culture, isn't there? I mean, do you feel that's what happened to you, that you were cancelled? Um, was I cancelled? No, I was sacked. Uh, I wasn't cancelled. Um, I still have a voice. I still have a, a Twitter account, which is one of the, one of the few <laughs> that hasn't <laughs> been uh, uh, been banned yet so far, so yeah, I'm not sure what I'm doing right actually. I mean, it, there's a lot of people have their accounts suspended and stuff for tweeting things, um, but somehow I've managed to escape that so far. So, uh, uh, no, I haven't been cancelled. I, I still have an opinion. I come on podcasts like this and give my views. Um, uh, and uh, I've now um, using a, a different social media site a lot more than I use Twitter. Um, so I've uh, no, so I've joined oh, Getter. Yeah, um, yeah. So I've been quite active on there, and, and I'm uh, I'm far more active on there than I ever will be on Twitter from now mm. on. And what's your um, profile on Getter so we can follow you? Uh, same as on Twitter at MattLatis7. Yeah. 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 It, the world definitely has. Well, we experienced something similar okay. because um, we got. I don't know what you call it, let's call it a shadow ban on YouTube. Our YouTube was going wild. Okay. And I interviewed David Icke for the second time. Yeah. I interviewed him because a lot of my listeners were like, a lot of the stuff he said has come true. We want to hear David Icke again. So, okay. And his video was going wild and then they just shut yeah. it down and us and killed our channel. And then we started building it back up and Harry had to edit it much more carefully. And even saying the C word, <laughs> Even saying that on Facebook or YouTube, the, the AI, the algorithms can hear it yep. and you get shut down now by robots. Wow. What do you think about that? Uh, I think it's a very scary world that we're living in when um, things like that happen and you can't have open and honest debate about conversations that are to do with what's going on in the world. I think it's, it's a horrible world um, and it's a world that I kind of associated with North Korea and China, places like that. Uh, and yet it's happening right on our doorstep and um, a large part of the population don't really give a shit that it's happening. Uh, whereas I find it incredibly scary um, uh, and I don't want to uh, I don't want to end up living in a world that, is, that has been what I perceived as, you know, a communist regime. Um, I don't want that world and that's why I, I speak out and that's why I'll carry on speaking out uh, because I don't want my children to grow up in that world. So if you enjoyed this, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to watch the full Matt Letitia unfiltered interview, watch it here.